welcome to the channel thank you everybody for tuning in on today's video we will be reviewing the radune rectangular r4 uh, now this watch was unboxed along with the rectangular monster homage and my main reason for purchasing this watch was because i failed to find any reviews on youtube and on aliexpress when i did look at the pictures um, i think it looks like a really good watch and so you know due to curiosity i did pull the trigger and get it in so today we're going to look at the watch give it a full review and you know see how good this watch is now clearly this is a skin diver and you know i can't see any direct comparisons or any watches that it is trying to homage so i think they have done an original design now when it comes to skin divers you know uh, originality it's so and so uh, design elements for it to qualify as a skin diver they have to have some similar uh, features the main one being no crown guards and slightly slimmer dimensions because i think in my opinion skin divers are basically just dressed up dive watches and so we find a lot of skin diver designs they do fall under certain design categories they've got a lot of similarities amongst the range that's why i think this may well be quite an original design which they do get plus points for that from myself anyway let's go ahead have a look at this and I already expressed a couple of concerns in the unboxing. So I just want to really get into those in a lot more detail. So before we start the review, give you guys a quick wrist check. I am wearing the Seastern Doxa Homage. So, okay, let's start off with specifications. Uh, so you've got pretty standard specifications, nothing out of the ordinary. You've got a 316L case uh, with the bezel and crown and bracelet you do have a box style sapphire crystal this i really do like it does have air coating uh, and it isn't overly excessive uh, there's just enough on and you also have a 120 click unidirectional bezel a ceramic bezel insert and the watch runs the seiko epson nh35 movement now the water resistance is 300 meters allegedly um, so please bear that in mind and you've got screw down crown screw down case back now the dimensions, I think this is where this watch starts to slightly go wrong for me. It's a 43 millimeter diameter case. Uh, you've got a log to log of 50 millimeters and a case thickness of 16.1 or 16 millimeters, should I say. Uh, you do have a 22 mil log width and then the bracelet tapers down to a mere 20 millimeters at the clasp and the overall weight of the watch is around 150 grams now straight away on paper i think the dimensions for a skin diver i think they're quite a bit wrong um, the watch is clearly first and foremost just too thick and it's not only due to the box crystal uh, i mean just look at the thickness of that side profile along with the case back and the case back kind of sticks out uh, which surely is adding a few millimeters and i think it's just you know fat and i'm not normally sized this when it comes to watches um but i think you know the design that this is going for the size is definitely going to be a contributing factor and that is one of the first big no-nos of this watch now the pricing uh it's okay they were sitting at 150 pounds and they have since gone down to uh, around 135 which is around 186 dollars uh, so i'll link that store in the description but they do generally sit around 150 which isn't that cheap um, in comparison to what's out there so for that price point as well there is a lot to be expected you know fair enough it is possibly an original design um, but you know that briefing room that they sit in and they discuss what watch they're going to do i think they definitely missed a trick when it came to dimensions so i won't go on about that anymore let's move on to the next thing now there is a couple of things which did really stand out and you know indicated to me that this could well be a really well built watch i absolutely love what they have done with the dial the dial is really well made you've got the printed radune logo below the 12 and above the six on either side of the six o'clock hour marker you've got automatic and you've got this color matched date wheel and i really appreciate how they put the date wheel just there because it does give perfect symmetry to the dial and you know the date wheel sitting there color mash as well uh, blends it in just really nicely the hour markers are also applied with polished frames so everything looks really nice it does stand out quite a bit you've got a printed minute track and you've got these sword style hands which are polished and chamfered you've got the red tip on the polished seconds hand and the proportions for the most part are actually fine the minute hand does just about touch the chapter ring or the minute track and the seconds hand just also brushes along that so the aesthetics of the watch are absolutely lovely i do like exactly what they've done with the dial and that box style sapphire crystal again appealing to that skin diver look does really make it look promising now the bezel insert again very thin 
So these are classical indicators that this is a skin diver and the bezel insert is also supposed to be loomed. We'll check that out after. And you've got quite thin markings around and you've got the 12 o'clock triangle pip and these dots and circles all around the bezel insert. So this is what really made me buy this watch because the design of it, the aesthetics do look quite pleasing and it seems to be ticking all the right boxes. And even when we come down to the case, you'll have a look at the case profile. It is really well done. The brushing is really good. Um, it's not coarse, it is very finely done. And then you've got this polished bevel edge here, which I really like on these cases, which really does highlight the logs. You've got a finely brushed side profile. Linear brushing, which does really feel smooth in hand. The, even the end links of the bracelet fit incredibly well into the case. And again, going back to these polished highlights on the logs. So these are some of the features that I do see on quite a lot of skin divers. And of course, you do have the crown with that, the crown guards. Now, this crown is slightly oversized. It's about 7.3 millimeters. A really good machining on there. Gives you a really nice grip. So you can screw it out. Wind the movement. Change the date wheel. And everything works as it should and it screws down nicely as well so the threads are done to a good level as well come down you see the redunate logo on the crown so that's okay so far so good all is really well now there's no back play in the bezel there's no movement in it it's been fitted and seated well to the case uh, rotations not the best it's not brilliant it's Okay, it's accurate, you know, you can hear it well, uh, it makes the right sound, um, it is pretty tactile, you can feel all the clicks. It does require a bit of pressure, but it does feel just slightly gritty. It could definitely do with a bit of grease applied uh, to the inner workings just to smoothen that out a little bit. But I think in the visual department, it looks good. So you just have a closer look at the bezel. You've got these cutouts here, these diamond-like scalping present, and the bezel itself is fully brushed. So this is what is really bugging me about this watch because all the points that I have mentioned with regards to the dial, the markers, the bezel inset, and, and the bezel as well, you know, it's got the right features, but the size is definitely a problem for me. So let's have a quick look at the loom, see if they have done well. So the loom applied is BGW9, and as you can see, Thankfully, they haven't disappointed on the loom front. All the hour markers are clearly visible. The hands are clearly visible and they've used the right amount of layers of loom. It's really bright, very legible, and you can just about see the markers around the bezel. Now I will give this a little boost with the UV lamp. And that looks incredible, really well lit and very crisp application of flume. So I'm really, really pleased that they have got that right. So glad they did not mess up on the loom. Uh, so let's have a look at the bracelet. So the one thing that did put me off at the bracelet straight away when I looked at it is just that the bracelet is just too damn stocky for this design. Um, in, there is a slight taper of two millimeters. Um, the links are all solid. They're held together by split pins. Um, and I think it's just, again, it's just a bit chunky. Um, the end links are female, but they are hollow. They're not solid. Um, however, I'm not going to give them a hard time for that at all, because as you can see, the fit is perfect. They do fit really well. And, you know, for them to be solid or hollow just adds nothing to the watch. They won't make that feel any better because it has been fitted really well on there. Plus, you got the additional female end link. Um, but I just feel there needs to be a bit more taper. The bracelet should have been probably a bit more stylish. And we come down to the clasp, a massive, massive no-no, giving us a stamped clasp, especially for the price point, is definitely a no-no. So looking at the three micro adjusts, uh, and yeah, and there's the bracelet case back. Let's just have a quick look at the case back. So you do have a school of fish present on there and you've got the specifications, the model number R4, uh, stainless steel, sapphire crystal, circular brushing present, screw down, and that's all fine. There's, there's no issues with that. So let's, I think, put this on wrist and then we can summarize. So this is the Redune R4 on my six and a half inch wrist. Uh, the fit, 
finish, the wear, uh, it's okay. It is slightly weighty uh, because, you know, looking at the watch and the design, you do expect it to be slightly of a lower weight. Uh, and it does wear quite thick. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera properly, but it does sit quite like a tank on your wrist, which is not what you want. And the box crystal, in this case, no matter how nice it is, doesn't do the watch any favors now i said i'm not sizes usually when it comes to watches but you know they usually are dive watches uh, and usually the aesthetic of the watch suits its bulky nature uh, you know if you're looking at tuners or mm300s for example now this is the biggest issue i'm having with this watch and i'm actually really frustrated that it couldn't get that right they've done so much good on the watch they've done so many things which are correct like i said i love that dial the bezel inserts really good uh, the actual design of the bezel is spot on um, the markers the hands again all really good things even the case it has been finished to a high standard with the polished edges on the case and the brushing so i don't know what happened there seriously uh, i mean of every rectangular i have reviewed has been pretty good and uh, there's not been uh, much wrong with them at all but this is going to be, uh, I think my biggest problem with this is just purely the size. And I think most of you guys will agree. But I will say, if you do have a bigger wrist, um, then I think there'll be no problem for someone with a maybe eight and a half, nine inch wrist. Because I think people with those really large wrists um, do kind of complain about the skin divers being too small, uh, a little bit too petite for their liking. So this is probably... Giacomo's version of a skin diver. Now, if you're in the UK, you'd probably get that reference. Um, but if, if you're in the US, basically, just to tell you what Giacomo is, it's a specific store for, you know, the extra large guys out there. Uh, you know, tall. Uh, and usually you get shops that are called big and tall that kind of cater to those needs. And so I think that's what I'm trying to say here is that this watch is suited for the big and tall guys out there, which there's no issue with that. But I think for everybody else, uh, that size even the 50 mil log to log will be quite a bit of a hindrance on this watch which is a massive shame because everything else is really stunning really well done because i would really like to see this uh, watch being remade in a even a 41 millimeter diameter or a 40 mil ideally and a thickness of you know 13 and a half millimeters log to log needs to come down to just the 48 millimeters and then improve the bracelet slightly even stick to this style of bracelet but add a bit more for taper bring the log width down to 20 millimeters and then i think the watch will be very impressive considering it is quite an original design from the dune uh okay so that's my summary on the watch um you know i do apologize for the rant on the size of the watch but i just really can't get over that um and of course you know adding a mill clasp in there uh but yeah that's it for me on this video uh thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video